What's up guys, PowerGPU here. Um, today we'll be doing a video on Crisis 2. Um, kind of uh, slacking off lately, so decided to do a video. Here, let's go to the options here real quick and look at the settings. Everything on ultra high, uh, motion is disabled, and high res textures DX11 is on, and it's running at 1920 by 1080, full screen, no vsync, and DX11 is enabled. Let's go right into this game real quick. <coughs> And as you can see on the top left hand corner, um, I do have uh, the FPS running. Um, temperatures are running there as well, uh, usage on that as well. Um, I'm not sure why I have memory 1, 2, and 3 when you're running SLI, it only uses one card anyway, so it's going to be the same for all three anyways. Um, and there is, on, for some reason I've noticed the new DX11 patch, there is a cap on FPS sometimes on certain points, like it gets stuck at 100, it doesn't go above 100, it'll get to 101, but then it gets stuck at 101. And if you notice, what I'm doing here is, um, when you run uh, through the TV for some reason at 240 Hz, it actually tears a lot in the game with Crisis, with all the Crisis series, I'm not sure. So what I have to do is I have to go to Options, Disable, V-Sync, uh, or Enable V-Sync, uh, then once I enable, then I go back and disable it, and it works perfect. I'm not sure why it does that, something to have to do with Crisis or whatever. Um, but uh, let's get right into it here. So this is running at max settings, guys. Uh, the X11 and everything enabled. Um, I chose this scene just because this is the toughest scene to run um, so far. It's the most graphically intense. It's the lowest I've seen as far as my frame rate goes. Uh, it gets down to about 52 minimum that I've seen so far, um, and it usually hovers around 75, 80, you know, in, in certain areas. Alright, so I've got that guy. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. Oh yeah, he's dead. Let's go around this way. There's a guy up top. Shoot him. Oh, we got him. Uh, oh, this guy jumps over the wall like he says, hey, I own this place. Hey. Oh, what? How did... Stupid. I missed him. Not sure how. Not sure how. Let's run in here. Look at this guy running at to nothing he knows. Alright, let's run through here. Oh, there's a guy over there. Uh, don't like what I see. Let's go right. Okay. Uh, oh, he's still up there. What the heck? I thought I killed him. Alright, that douche is there as well. Yeah, so, um... Anyways, guys, um, as far as the 3580s, uh, it oh shoot, it runs beautifully. Um, so far, every game, Metro, you guys saw the last video of. Um, some of you said you didn't like the way I did Metro, so I'm doing it this way this time, just to show you real time. Um, and actually, I couldn't record Crisis 2 with Fraps because if I did, um, I, I was only running at 10 FPS, so it was pretty much non-playable for me. So that's why I had to do it this way instead because it just it, it just would have been way 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 too slow for me to even run. Look at that guy over there shooting through smoke. He doesn't know what he's shooting at. Um, and me and RP Connect were talking today. Uh, he showed me this new technology that's coming out called the. It doesn't use polygons; it uses atoms. If you guys go to Guru3D.com and look at the video that they have posted on it, it is unbelievable. It is ridiculous. I mean, the DX11 looks like crap now compared to that. They're gonna start using it pretty soon in games. They want to sell it to the to the gaming developers. Because it looks amazing, amazing, amazing. I don't remember what the name of the company was, but it looks really good. It looks really, really good. Uh, oh, there's a douche up there. Oh, I don't have any grenades. Hi. Uh, oh, there's his head. I'll get him. Let me just jump over here. There we go. Oh yeah, guys, if you guys want to do any requests as far as videos, um, please post a comment on my channel, not on the video, um, or just PM me, send me a message. It just, it's a lot easier that way. If you guys send me a, a message through um, through one of the videos or a comment or something, if you want me to do a video, it's going to be hard for me to really, you know, get to that because I, I just mainly check my channel for any requests. Um, the other thing too is I know someone did request Witcher 2. Um, um, in the middle of trying to get to work, so far it's giving me issues. It's like running at 
3.2 frames per second even though I got the latest drivers I'm not sure what it's doing I'll figure it'll figure it out hopefully uh, soon here and now I can start playing Ooh. all right guys well I'm gonna let you go I'm gonna let you guys enjoy the rest of the video um, if you guys have any questions or anything like that like I said send me a message PM me and stay tuned I will be doing the dark sider giveaway um, it's gonna be kinda tricky the way to get it but um, it's gonna be fun so uh, see you guys later please subscribe and enjoy the rest of the video see ya